Hey guys, welcome to my channel Techo. My name is Salman Francis and today I'm back with another question of our RHCE version 9 exam uh, solution. So let's take a look what we have today. So to, today we have use SE Linux roles to create a playbook called selinux.yml in our home directory with the following conditions run it on all the managed hosts and set SC Linux mode to permissive on all. Verify SC Linux with ad hoc command. Create another copy of SC Linux.yaml with the name SC Linux default, or you can call it anything. It depends what you, what will appear in the exam. And set up default mode of enforcing for all managed hosts in this YAML file. Uh, use Ansible Navigator to execute SE Linux default playbook. Verify the SE Linux mode on all the managed hosts. So first thing is, uh, let me break down the question. First thing is we need to create an SE Linux file and we need to make sure that uh, it's set to permissive. Uh, then we will use another SE Linux uh, file. We will call it SE Linux default and we will make it back to enforcing by using Ansible Navigator. So without further ado, let's start. First thing is we need to check with the ad hoc command that what is our current SE Linux uh, state. So it's going to be Ansible and we are going to use all because we are, have to check it on all nodes and the command I'm going to use is uh, get enforce. And we can see that both the nodes, node 1 and node 2, are in enforcing mode. Okay, so let's create our YAML file, sclinux.yml. And what we need to do is the same, like uh, setting status of sclinux. Hosts all become true because we don't need any issues with the permission and then we are going to use vars and vars we are going to use a special variable and it's called se linux state which is going to be permissive and then we will use roles and the role which we are going to use is SC Linux, uh, sorry, RHEL dash system roles dot SE Linux. <clears throat> okay, one thing about roles. So what we are going to do is we will use DNF, let me sudo it, Oops. DNF install RHEL dash system dash roles so I'll, I already have it in my system so if you don't have it will be installed and one thing which you need to uh, check is that the roles by default are installed in user share ansible roles so this is very important uh, you can see that it has installed here it is rhel system dash roles dot se linux and if you have not given the roles directory in your ansible configuration file here so you might need to copy these roles from here to the roles in your user home directory ansible and roles directory so you need to copy these system roles okay otherwise you might face an error in case you have installed the roles with ansible galaxy 
So they are installed in user share. Uh, let me check the path. This is very important, guys. So with Ansible Galaxy, the role if uh, the path is in home user. Sorry about that. So it's going to be home techo and then it's a hidden directory dot ansible and then you will see the roles and you will find uh, linux system roles dot se linux here because uh, sometimes uh, they might ask you you need to install it with rhel system roles or you have you might have to install it with ansible galaxy if you install it with ansible galaxy so this is the roles directory and if it's uh, RHEL, so I have already shown you the RHEL default directory where you can find the roles. All you need to do is copy those roles in your user's home directory roles folder where we are working. Home, Taco, Ansible. So this is our home directory where we are working. And in this Ansible, the roles folder is important. The roles should exist in this directory. Okay, I hope you guys have a good understanding now. So now we are done with it. So let me go back and let's run the our playbook. So it's going to be Ansible dash playbook, and it's going to be on my my inventory. And the playbook name is selinux.selinux.yaml. I think we created selinux.yaml. Okay, so it has changed two nodes. Let's confirm the changes with our ad hoc command. So it's Ansible. And we want to check it on all the nodes and the command is get enforce. So perfect, now we can see it's permissive. Earlier we saw it was enforcing. So first, task is completed. Our next task is to use Ansible Navigator to use uh, the same. Uh, the task is to use Ansible Navigator and then we need to make it back to enforcing. So let's do that. We will create SC Linux 3.yml. Basically we, we can copy it. Copy SC Linux.yml to a Linux 3.yml and let's aim into it 3 here we will change setting status of SC Linux using Ansible Navigator and here we will use change it to enforcing that's it but now we need to use Ansible Navigator. So we will use Ansible dash Navigator and we need to run. The module is going to be standard out and SE Linux 3. So it has made the changes also and good. So we have our nodes have changed. Let's confirm it with Ansible add hook command and it's going to be all. 
dash a get and force. Great. So we have successfully achieved our task. Now you can see it's in enforcing. I hope you guys have a good understanding. So if you have any problem installing Ansible Navigator, please let me know because I encountered a couple of issues. So you can, because I'm using a registered or subscribed Red Hat Linux 9. So still like uh, it was some issue for me, but if you face any issue installing it with pip or directly from Red Hat, let me uh, know in the comments. So I will help you because I face a couple of issues and finally solve it. So guys, thank you for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel, like my video, share it with your friends and family, and hope to see you in our next video where we will see and solve more questions. Thank you.